For the dog, you're going to need two 260s, one white, and then one whatever color you want. In this case, I use dark blue. All right, grab that white one, and you're going to blow it up so there's about four fingers lengths left. And then you do the same exact size for whatever other color you choose. All right, let's go ahead and make it. So we're going to grab that white balloon. Remember, that was four fingers lengths left. And we always start with the white. And you'll see why here pretty soon. So we're going to do a three inch bubble there and then do a second one. And I just bring that nub around to make them both even and then push it through. You want to lock that in. So this is going to be the front mouth of the dog. Now grab that second balloon. In this case, I got the dark blue blown up the same amount. And you're going to do a little bit smaller than a one inch bubble. Nice small bubble there. Hold it in nice and tight so it doesn't come undone. Grab your white balloon and then push that bubble right through the middle of those two three fingers length bubbles. And you're going to secure it in just like that. All right, go ahead and make a bubble that's a little bit smaller than those two white ones. That's going to go under the mouth. And then to tie those three in, you just twist it all around, but I like to grab that nub so I can push that through in a second. It kind of helps lock it all in, otherwise it's going to come undone easy for you guys. All right, so now we're going to go up to the eyes and the head. So you're just going to twist those together at about four to five finger lengths. It's a little over four. So just twist around a few times and then you're going to do one of the ears. Doesn't matter which color. So you do a one inch bubble or a little bit less and then do a loop twist. And you're doing that loop twist on the bottom of that one inch bubble there. So twist that all in together. Just like that. And then do the same exact process you just did with the other color. So now we're going to go to the dark blue, make it a little bit smaller than a one inch bubble. Twist it around a few times, make that loop twist and bring that loop underneath the one inch bubble there. You kind of have to hold everything nice and tight with your hands and then twist that around a couple times. All right, so now you're going to bring those two extra bigger bubbles we have and bring it down so they match colors. The darker one's going to be the back of the head and the white is going to be the eyes. So the trick here is just to get them all, all four of those bubbles the same. So I just bring it down and then twist it all together right underneath the eyes and on top of the mouth. If you can see, I made one of the bubbles a tiny bit bigger and this is pretty common. So I just pull that out. It's a good little lesson for you guys. If that ever happens, you can kind of adjust things. All right, now go ahead and make the neck and you're going to twist those two bubbles we have together about two fingers lengths, maybe a little less. And then you're going to make the legs, the front legs with one of those colors. doesn't matter which one, about four fingers lengths and then make two bubbles the same size. Twist it all around there. And then match up those two bubbles for the main body. Twist where you think it looks good, I'm doing about five to six finger lengths and then push that through the middle. Just one of those colors, doesn't matter which one. Helps to lock in those back legs. All right, so with the other color, in this case the dark blue, do the same exact process as you did for the front legs. So I'm doing two bubbles there, about five to six fingers lengths, and then twist it all in. And then you end up with two tails, so obviously we just want one. So just choose whichever one you want, and then pop off the other one. So I'm going to adjust a little bit there, and then I'm going to go ahead and pop off that white one. So just twist and then pull, and you want to make sure you grab right there so it doesn't the air doesn't come out, and then make sure you tie it before you let go. And then I like to twist that extra tie that I just made a few times around so it doesn't come undone. All right, let's adjust the face here. So bring that nose in. We're gonna actually do a pinch twist by pulling that nub back and then twisting the bubble and then push it in between those two white bubbles there to make a nice look on the nose. 
Now we're going to push in the ears, so you adjust those out so that one inch bubble is situated right there and you just pop them right in between the back of the head and those eyes. So I just pull my thumbs and then push it down in. Make the necessary adjustments. And that is the dog. So all we have left now is to just go ahead and draw on it a little bit, the Sharpie. And I'm just gonna do some simple eyes there with some eyebrows. Looking good. Okay, now we're just gonna do some dots there on the front of the mouth in that white section. And you guys just made yourself a two balloon dog. Good job.